Hello friends, welcome to Ortho Implants for Life. Today we will discuss about tibia interlocking, nailing implants, instruments and fractures it can help fix. Today we will discuss about tibia interlocking nailing system. This tibia interlocking nailing system is basically used in tibia shaft fractures. This is the tibia interlocking nail. It is available with a diameter of 8 mm, 9 mm and 10 mm in general. There are more sizes available that varies from company to company. The length varies from 28 cm to 48 cm that is having a gap of 2 cm in between as in 28 cm, 30 cm, 32 cm, 44 cm, 36 and 48 cm respectively. This is the proximal head of the tibia interlocking nail. The diameter of the proximal end is 13 mm. It has got one dynamic hole and one static hole. This is the distal part of the tibia interlocking nail. In this hole, there will be a medial lateral interlocking bolt fixed. The one above it will have anterior posterior interlocking bolt in it and the one above it again will have medial lateral interlocking bolt fixed in it. This is an 8 mm diameter nail which will be fixed by 3.9 mm interlocking bolt. This hole and for the 9 mm tibia interlocking nail 4.9 mm interlocking bolt will be used. This is called tibia interlocking nail cap or end cap. It is available in 0 mm, 5 mm and 10 mm. This is fixed in the proximal part of the interlocking nail. Let us check out the interlocking bolts used for tibia interlocking nailing system. This is a 3.9 mm interlocking bolt. This goes in the distal part of the 8 mm diameter tibia nail. It is available with a length of 26 mm to 50 mm with 2 mm difference in between. This is a 4.9 mm interlocking bolt. This is fixed in the 9 mm and 10 mm diameter nail in the distal part. It is also used in the proximal part of the 8 mm, 9 mm and 10 mm nail. This is used and available in the lens from 26 mm to 65 mm. From 26 to 50 mm there is a 2 mm gap in between and from 50 to 65 mm there is a gap of 5 mm in between each length. Now let us check out the basic instruments used for tibia interlocking nailing system. This is all. This one is solid all and this one is a cannulated all. Next, this is a long guide wire. Two types of guide wires are provided. 
one is beaded like this one and another is a plain guide wire as you can see it is plain it has got a length of 40 cm and diameter of 2.5 mm Next, this is a tissue protector. This protects the soft tissues during the surgery. This is a cannulated hand reamer, which is used in 8 mm, 9 mm, 10 mm, and 11 mm diameter. This is a flexible reamer, available in between 8mm and 12mm, available in fixed and detachable, both has got 5mm gap in between. This is called an exchange tube or a medullary tube used for taking out the beaded guide wire and exchanging it with a plain guide wire. Next, this is a guide wire holding forceps used to hold the guide wire during the procedure. This is a proximal reamer this is used to rim for the proximal head of the nail. The diameter of the proximal reamer is 13 mm. This is a jig used for the TBI interlocking nailing system. Next, this is a box spanner. Then a regular spanner. Then we require conical bolt. Next, 4 mm protection sleeve. Next, drill sleeve. Three point two mm and four mm. This is a trocker. This one is called the hammering adapter. Next we will require screw drivers, 150 mm and 200 mm.
This is called an extractor rod and this is a sliding hammer. Then we will require depth gauge. This is called a T-handle with chuck and key. This is stainment pin, 3 mm, 3.5 mm and 4 mm, 6 inch in length, 2 pieces each. This is called drill bit, 3.2 mm, 6 inch and 4 mm with a length 10 inches. Two pieces each. This is SS wire. This one is of 18 mm and this one is of 20 mm. Coming down to the general instruments. This is hammer. This is pointed forceps or pointed clamp. This is a periosteal elevator. This is called a Hohmann retractor. This is called a Lohmann's bone clamp. This is called a Lohmann bone clamp. This is reduction forceps. This is self-centering forceps. If you have enjoyed the video, please like it, share it. If you are new to our channel, subscribe it. Hit the bell icon to get the notifications for our upcoming videos. If you have any query, comment in the comment box. To know more about the career prospects in orthopedic implant industry, click the link given below in the description. Thank you. See you in our next video.